Wonderful. This is our second video and we will be working on this page. Fill in the table below with the appropriate missing information. And you will see that we are basically describing the same thing in three different ways. We will be using graph, interval notation and set builder notation. Let's start with problem number eight. In picture number eight, there is an interval graphed on the line that starts with minus five and ends at three. So those are the endpoints. The, the clear circles, empty circles, whatever you like to call that, they represent the fact that these numbers are not part of the interval. And in interval notation, that would be described by using parentheses. Again, we will use the same endpoints, minus 5 and 3, and put parentheses around it. Because that means that number minus 5 and number 3, they are not part of the interval, but anything between those two numbers is. So we have already two ways how to describe this. Now, third way, set builder notation. We will say that it's a set of numbers x such that, and then we have to describe the same thing with alg algebraic expressions. We will say that it's such number x that minus 5 is less than x and that's less than 3. And again, all these three things in a different way, represent the same thing. The parentheses, the less than, and the clear circle, they all represent the fact that the number, the endpoint, is not part of that um, interval. Let us go to number nine. This time we will be starting with with interval notations, that's what they gave us. They told us that this time it's not one interval, these are two intervals, and they are united. This is a unity or and. So we have two intervals. One goes from minus um, infinity to minus 3. Let us find minus 3. And you see that minus 3 is included this time. So we will shade the circle above it. And then the arrow will go all the way to negative infinity. And then we have another endpoint that is part of the interval. That's number 6. Again, this is going to be a shaded circle. And we will have to go all the way to positive infinity. So these are two ways to express the same exact thing. Let us see how we can express that as a set builder notation. I will write this time a little bit smaller because we will have to fit a little bit more. So it's a set of such x numbers that, and you will have to, to write two inequalities and connect them together. I will erase this because confusing. So it's set, set of such number x that x is less or equal to negative 3 or x is greater or equal to Pay attention, when we have this kind of graph with two different intervals, we have to connect, we have to write them separately. We cannot combine it into one expression like we were able to in problem number eight. Okay, pay attention, if we have two intervals or even more, we have to combine them with OR. The X cannot possibly be in these two together. So it's this OR this. Mm -hmm. Number 10, let me go back to blue. This time we are starting with the set builder notation. 
and it says that it's set of such numbers x that minus 3 is less than x and that is less than 5. First thing I see is the circles when we graph it are gonna be clear because minus 3 and, my and 5 are not gonna be part of the interval. Do you see that? Do you see? So we will look on the graph, we will be looking for minus 3 and put a clear circle above it. Then we will be looking for number 5, again clear circle above it. And we are looking for all the real numbers x between these two endpoints, so we will connect the two endpoints. Fabulous, we have graph, we have set builder notation, and now interval notation. We know that the minus 3 and 5 are the end points and they are not included in the interval. So we will be using, again, we will be using the parentheses. Wonderful job. I would encourage you now to pause the video, try to do problem number 11 by yourself and come back and check if you were correct. And I will continue solving. On the graph, it shows number 3 as an endpoint with clear circle. We know that number 3 is not going to be part of that interval. So we will use parentheses. Positive 3 is an endpoint. What is the endpoint on the other side? It goes forever, right? So this is the symbol for infinity. And infinity cannot belong to that. When it, whenever we are using infinity, positive or negative, we have to use the parentheses. There's never brackets around that. Okay, so this is our way how to express it in, in interval notation. And then let's go to set builder notation. It's going to be set of numbers, real numbers x, such that x is greater than 3. And I hope you remembered not to put greater or equal to because again we know that number 3 is not part of that interval. Great work. I'm proud of you. I'm glad you have completed all these problems. Let's review it in the class.